So Gwyn, 240 metres above the sea that is there at the finish for him. Takes a deep breath. The man who's won the World Cup for the last three years on the trot. 19 World Cup wins to his name. Two off the record of Aaron, of, uh, excuse me, Greg Minar, and going for a record sixth overall title. That has never been done. Oh, look good and smooth into that. Wow, that looked perfect right there. Yeah, close, I would say. Just nearly two tenths back then for Gwyn. On that new bike, the new YT Chuez. See him riding cleverly there, just holding it around the inside there. Wow, look, straight and smooth. Well, I know one thing, and that is that Cody, when he gets to that pinball section, with his riding style, how strong he is, I can't imagine anyone going much quicker down that long straight. But this pretty much looks like... Oh, yes, green. Three out then. What I was going to say, it almost looks like the difference when Miriam Nicole was riding. It was just straight, smooth, clean. It's no mistake so far. Bike is just staying straight and stable. This is the exact same thing we see here. Now the pinball section. So 1.3 was his advantage. Will it be the same? Will it be more? We're about to find out as he goes through this block. Over two seconds now. Wow. So Aaron Gwynn's showing us why he's won 19 races. <laughs> okay. He turns it on like no other when it comes to the race run of the weekend. From Temecula in California. Dominated in recent years. He's actually only won, lost the overall World Cup title twice since 2010. That is the dominance of this man. Is it going to be World Cup win number 20 for him today? That last split coming up right here. Oh, yes. He's lost a fair chunk of time down through that little forest there. But Gwyn now only has to pedal to the line to go fastest. The American champion, hard on those pedals. Nearly 47 kilometers an hour through the speed trap. That's about where he needs to be. So Aaron Gwynn crosses the line. It's going to be the fastest time of the day. No, yes, it is. He goes fastest with a 219.19. I would Point not have... nine up on the time of Lucas Shaw. Yeah, and I would not have thought he would lose time down here. Definitely not. One, one rider left. One rider left at the top of the mountain. Gwyn goes into the lead by the best part of eight tenths of a second. That's a fair margin, really, on this track, but he did lose time at the bottom. You can see it there. Gwyn, Lucas Shaw, fastest from split four down. But Gwyn, has he done enough? Only Dean Lucas now can stop him.